Your driver is on writing. Isn't that cool? Hi travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Lalika. I downloaded the DD app from the Play Store because I have my VPN on. That's totally possible from China. Express VPN is what I use and I would recommend. Yes, it does cost, but when things do go wrong, the help services are absolutely lovely. Yeah, there's this. Oh, there's this. As you can see, there's different options here. I'm going to put in my new China mobile, but yeah, you can sign up with Facebook and Google, which is interesting. Code happening, legal, whatever's, agree. Okay, so I guess I have to download this because it is not happening. I will just have to change my setting for my VPN to get around to this. You can use DD as it says here in the Google App Store. You can use it in mainland China, Hong Kong, and Taiwan. So this is an update from my previous video that I did when we were in Beijing when and back then you could only get it in in Chinese so it's great that they've got an English version now. Currently all valid debit cards and credit cards are supported. Interesting. Okay so you, that's interesting you can sign into all DD apps including DD Global. So basically what I've done was I downloaded the DD Global app which doesn't work here for some reason and there is a DD Greater China one, so that's what I have. Oh no! And you can reserve it. Okay, so there are the different options. Now I don't have a wallet. So the other good thing about WeChat is that there is a English help customer service. And they are in English, which is great. And I did actually last week leave my wallet in a DD that was with another friend. So you can... So you can certainly contact them and they have been more than good and they got back my they got back my wallet with all the money in it and that was amazing. Dee bring out my app and it opens up. Oh, I'm in a lift so it won't locate me. <laughs> I can only choose the taxi. I could choose the other options which is similar to uber but because i don't have a bank account here then i cannot so this is really for tourists green dots however i want to be picked up right from where i am so that's there this is pick up after two minutes right and i'm on the taxi so that's where i am now and then Type in my location to the home. You call taxi. All right, now straight away I will put in. Now it says here your driver is on routing. Isn't that cool? But I message them straight away. There's these preset messages, and it will translate them into Chinese. So I always just say that straight away, in the hope that they do not call me, <laughs> because it is bloody hopeless when they do. And see if he's message back saying hello I'll be there shortly just wait for a moment isn't that cute can add another one but the translator is not so great hi <laughs> great <laughs> so it says that I'm waiting to pick up oh my god will you look at this this is paparazzi Hello. Hi, hi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my <laughs> word. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what it's like living in China. Here am I trying to tell you about how to use DD and I get accosted by random people. Oh, this guy's good. He didn't call, which is what you want. And here he is. 782. 782.
that's how you do it so for a traveler it is possible just make sure you have the app before you come because you need to enter your phone number and then they're gonna want to do like a message verification which obviously you probably can't do once you arrive here because you won't have network in the assumption you don't have a Chinese number I'll have stayed in the free Wi-Fi area basically until they arrive yeah, just in case, but if not, then you're very close by. Please be sure to check out my apartment tour, because now you can see where I'm going. <laughs> I'll link that in the description box below.